Hello and thank you for joining us for this quick tutorial of how to upload immunization records for compliance requirements. This tutorial is provided to you by the Atlanta University Consortium Student Health and Wellness Center. You should have received information from your school listing what immunizations are required to attend. These records must be uploaded into the Point and Click Patient Portal. Point and Click, or PNC, is the electronic medical record system used by your Student Health and Wellness Center. PNC has an online portal that you will use to upload your documents for immunization requirements based on your school's requirements. You may also utilize this portal once you have started your academic studies here to schedule appointments, message a medical provider, and view lab results. The first step to uploading your records is to activate your PNC account. First, visit our website by searching for Atlanta University Consortium Student Health and Wellness Center. You will see the following homepage, which has detailed information about our clinic, as well as immunization requirements. Click on the Patient Portal tab. Here you will find a direct link to the portal and instructions on how to activate your account based on which school you attend. Please read these instructions carefully. Once you click on the link, you will see two buttons listing the institutions. Click on the correct icon that lists your school's name. If you have never accessed the PNC portal before, Click on the Sign Up for an Account button. You will be prompted to enter in your university ID, date of birth, and last name. An activation key will be sent to your school email address to complete the registration process. Please pay attention to the username you are given during registration so that you can access your account in the future. Once you have activated your account and signed in, you will be brought to the home screen. Next, click on the Medical Clearances tab. Your immunization requirements will be listed here. Next to each requirement, there is a green update button where you can update your information. The status column will tell you if the requirement is compliant or not compliant. And the details column will tell you if the item is satisfied, not satisfied, awaiting review, or there is no data entered for that requirement. Select the requirement you wish to complete by clicking on the green update button. A new screen will pop up where you can upload a file of your supporting documentation, such as a vaccine record or physical form. There will also be a space where you must enter the type of vaccine you received, as well as the date or dates you received that vaccine. Some requirements may be satisfied with a blood test called a titer if you do not have your vaccination records. Please make sure you read the instructions at the top of each item. If you have one supporting document with multiple requirements listed, such as a complete vaccine record. You do not have to re-upload the same document under every tab. However, you must enter the dates of the vaccines under each tab in order to be marked compliant. If you only upload your forms, but do not upload the dates of each requirement, you will still show up as non-compliant for the items that you did not enter in any dates in the portal. If you need to upload any additional documents to the portal that do not fit under any of the listed requirements, you may use the Immunization Records tab. All documents uploaded to the portal must have the student's name and date of birth clearly visible. Screenshots from a computer with no last name or birth date will be rejected. The physical exam requirement must be a physical obtained within the last calendar year and includes the student's name, date of birth, allergies, medications, medical history, surgical history, and a head-to-toe physical exam from a healthcare provider. If you are requesting an exemption from the vaccination requirements, please click on the downloadable forms. Here you can download the appropriate forms and re-upload to the portal for review. You will receive a message with either approval or denial of your document by the point and click portal. Please keep in mind that sometimes the exemption forms require a notary or a letter from a religious leader. More information may be required so do not wait until the last minute to submit exemption forms. We ask for 10 days time to review any documents submitted to the portal. Once you have submitted all documents and your documents have been approved, you will see the word satisfied at the top of the medical clearances page where it says overall clearance status. Do not mail any immunization records directly to our office. We will not enter in this information for you. If you are struggling to get in the portal, or have other questions or concerns, please contact our office for assistance.
we look forward to taking care of you and welcome to the Atlanta University Center Consortium.